how's it going? What is that? Oh, boy. It's a pumpkin. What is it doing in this house? Dad. It's a Halloween thing for the kids. What are you... <laughs> there will be no Halloween in this house. Do you understand? It's forbidden. Forbidden! <laughs> It's Halloween. That's all. Yes, I gleaned that. That doesn't give him the right to smash my pumpkin, does it? Does it? All right, calm down. It's a pumpkin, not your Entenmann's cake. <laughs> we never do Halloween anyway. Why do you care so much? I don't. I just got it because Deacon's bringing Kirby over. Now I got to go get another one. And maybe an Entenmann's cake. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> don't get another pumpkin, Doug. Why not? Just don't. Why, why? Because it's forbidden by Wrinkles McGee? <laughs> Said him so much. I mean, Kirby can see a pumpkin anywhere. This town is stupid with pumpkins. That's not the point, okay? I'm sick of him and his forbidding things. First, we can only buy an American made VCR. Hey, the Dugan Edwards works pretty well. Oh, yeah, it's great if you don't need it to rewind or play. <laughs> Let's not forget. No red pens, no soft cheese, no mention of FDR's polio. All right, so he's got some quirks. Suddenly this is news to you? I'm just sick of it, Carrie. You know, at some point, someone's got to take a stand against that lunatic. And you know what? I'm taking that stand. I'm getting a pumpkin. Oh, so that's your stand. Your big stand is for Halloween. That's right. World hunger, no, but, but Halloween. That's your course. They're both important. Right now, I'm focusing on Halloween. <laughs> Doug, honey, I am begging you. You've got to pick your battles with my father. This is not worth fighting for. Fun size Kit Kats. Also forbidden! <laughs> oh, little witchy witch action. Wichita! You, my friend, can go right over here. Because we are taking back the house tonight, Slim, huh? Yeah! <laughs> Trick or treat. Hey, my first customer. What are you supposed to be there, Curb? A Powerpuff Girl. <laughs> yeah, we uh, fought about this for seven straight hours. And which Powerpuff Girl are you, Curb? Blossom. Blossom? Cool. All right, well, here you go, Blossom. Take whatever you like. Uh, uh, Mary Jane, Kirby, take the Three Musketeers. I don't know Mary Jane. No, no, he wants the Three Musketeers. <laughs> three men in tights? Feels like a lateral move. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? It's Arthur. I gotta go. All right, come on, Kirby. Bye. See you later. It's showtime. <laughs> hey, Arthur. Hello, Douglas. Uh, look, if you, you got a second, you might want to mosey on into the living room. What for? Well, I just think there's something in there that might interest you. Come on. Hi, I'm Dr. Davis. Are you Mr. Spooner's daughter? Yes. Is, is he okay? Is everything all right? Yes. Your father's stable right now. His condition isn't life-threatening. Okay. But we are going to keep him here to run some tests tomorrow, just so we can find out exactly what's going on. Okay. Um, do you know what could have caused this? Oh, for God's sakes, Carrie. There's no reason to live in the past. Whatever happened, happened. <laughs> just shut up. I want to know. What, what could have caused it? Probably salt or something, right? I mean, the man likes his pickles. <laughs> well, these things are usually brought on by some sort of shock to the system. Actually, he said his son-in-law tried to scare him to death. <laughs> Anyhow, he's awake now, so you can head on in and say hello. Okay. <laughs> Doctors. They think they're God. <laughs> what do I do? Just cross over the bridge. You're crazy? Come on, you can do it. Cross over the bridge. Yeah, easy for you. You're on the right side. <laughs> I'm a llama. You're doing great. Oh, no! 
I'm fine! Get me a helicopter now! Doug, you don't need a helicopter. I really think a helicopter's the way to go. Doug, listen to me. You can do this. I can't. This bridge will never hold. Yes, it will. Look, look you're not fat anymore. Your light is there. I know you're lying now. I'm going back. I'll live here. You start a new life with Dom DeLuise. No, Doug, stop. I don't want Dom DeLuise. I want you, OK? Really? Yes. Now, look, I, I know I went a little crazy with this Beth thing and you losing all the weight and getting all that attention because you, you stole my thunder, you know? And uh, didn't love it. Can't blame a girl for wanting her thunder. But the, but the thing is, Doug, you deserve the attention, OK? And, and, I, and I love you and I'm so sorry and I know that you were skinny enough to make it across this bridge. Why did that little thingy break? Because you're still kind of big. Now run. Come on, honey. Come on, baby. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. I love you so much. I love you too. What happened to you? It's only been 45 minutes. I went a little overboard. <laughs> You know, let's go to Hershey Park. Yeah. Hey. Hi. Where's my dad? I will survive! Who oh, goes? Ah, oh, Douglas. What is that powerful aroma? I could ask the same thing. <laughs> Is that some kind of melted sandwich? Yes, it is, and I don't want you shedding on it, so could you step back? So I can't be near your food, then I assume you'd really get upset if I touched it like this, huh? Actually, all you did was touch hot butter. Excuse me, I need some salve. <laughs> oh, hey, man. Listen, did you get fitted for your suit for my cousin Faye's wedding? No, but it's right at the top of my to-do list. But honey, you understand, the wedding is in two weeks, and you are a guy who needs a tailor's help. OK, do you understand the concept behind a grilled cheese sandwich? OK, if the cheese cools, this was all for nothing. Doug, all I'm asking you to do is get the suits. And all I'm asking you to do is shut in. Oh. Oh, my God, are you OK? Cheese still hot. <laughs> Okay, try to keep the weight on the other foot. Let's plant you on the couch. I have to remind you to do that. <laughs> All right. Remember, the doctor said to keep your foot elevated, and you have to take your pills every three hours. Next one's at 4 o'clock. Okay, um, did he happen to mention what time you are going to say you're sorry for pushing me down the stairs? I didn't push you. You fell. Because you hit me! Because you didn't get fitted for your suit like I asked you to. Okay. So you crippled me? And for the time that you ripped up my Vogue magazine because you had to make your collage? Okay, it wasn't a collage. I was constructing the perfect woman. Okay. <laughs> anyway, the doctor said you're not crippled. With a month of physical therapy, you'll be fine. Oh, just a month. And every day it rains for the rest of my life! <laughs> I understand that you're upset, okay? But you do understand that I didn't mean to hurt you, right? I want to believe that. <laughs> what? I just came up for a glass of water. I don't want any trouble. Oh, come on, Dad. It was an accident. Oh, please, you could have killed him. And with him being basically uninsurable, where would that leave us? All right, would you just back off? It wasn't my fault. Shame on you, Carrie. I've pushed many people down flights of stairs, but damn it, I've always owned up to it. <laughs> you didn't have to do that. I mean, we were going to hire somebody. Hey, hey, hey. That is not how the Palmers roll. Oh, and Doug got a great idea to put one of those uh, art lights up over it. Danny! Great idea, Doug. <laughs> Same spot. What's going on?
going on? Deacon came by and put the art light up. <laughs> he said that's how they roll. Are you crying? No. What's the matter? Doug, I, come, I can't live with this paint thing. We gotta get rid of it. I am willing to lose them as friends over this. <sighs> Did you forget about the stupid painting? Doug, I can't. I see it in my sleep. And when I go to the kitchen, the eyes, they follow me. So poke them out with your giant fingers. Come on, I'm being serious. Stop joking. Come on, Carrie. Look, I, I know the painting's horrible, but, you know, you'll get used to it. No, I won't. It's just like that purple vase that my mom got. You you hated that thing. Yeah, I still hate it. Yeah, but you, you don't think about it anymore. It just blends in with all our other crap. Oh, my God, this arm is bigger. I'm a freak. Stop it. Your arms are perfect, OK? They are? Yes. Come on. Hey, you know what? It was our anniversary, and I didn't even give you my present yet. Oh, what'd you get me? Upstairs in the bedroom. Oh, yeah. You know what? I have a gift for you, too, that's upstairs. A little something. Come on, baby. Actually, I gotta go into the garage for a second. Yeah, take your time, okay. baby. God, will you hurry up? We should have robbed this house 45 minutes ago. I had I had to get my allergy shot. We're not stealing a cat. <laughs> All right, so uh, how do you want to do this? You steal, I ransack? I, I, I really had my heart set on ransacking. All right, fine. Then, then you ransack, I'll steal. OK, cool. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Karen gave us a list of uh, Doug stuff she wants us to take. <laughs> Gray sweatpants torn in the back, everything in his underwear drawer, and his Mr. French fry machine. All right, fine. OK. What are you doing? They know it's us. I want to set the mood. How does wearing a ski mask help to I want to wear the mask. <laughs> I'm wearing the mask. OK. Hey, right, look, uh, I'm sorry, all right? It's just my process. All right. <laughs> uh... Wait, they're back. What? Look, just hurry up. Take the painting. Uh... Hurry. It's stuck. God, we're never going to be their go-to couple. Wait, wait, wait. What? Mr. the French farm machine. Oh, yeah. Grab it. <laughs> oh, my God! Oh, my God! What? What? We've been robbed! What, what, what makes you say that? The couch pillow! Oh. It's on the floor! They're probably looking for loose change. Oh, God. Oh, God. All right, all right, OK, you know what? They probably just wrecked the place. They, they, they didn't take anything. Guys, look. The painting? Damn it to hell! <laughs> Damn! What kind of animal would do that? An animal with great taste. I guess you guys should, uh, what, call the police or something? Oh, what's the difference? It's probably halfway to Mexico by now. <laughs> you know what? We will. We will. We just need a little time. Alone. Oh, oh, sure. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, well, uh, call us if you need anything or we'll, hear anything. We will. We will. We will. Doug, did you notice that we have four bottles of shampoo in the shower that are all empty? Oh, yeah, I saw that. Well, if you saw that, how come you didn't throw them away? Uh, because I wanted to give you the chance to see them so we could have this fun conversation. <laughs> Just take them to the recycling, okay? Take the garbage out, too. I got a sharp pain in my side this morning. I must have pulled something last night. I told you, it's killing me. Okay, Doug, do you really want to play this card to get out of a four-foot walk to the garbage can? Because there's a cat show coming. OK, in. all right. <laughs> ah, it's hurting. I'm, I'm feeling it. Uh -huh, I'm feeling uh -huh, it. Uh -huh.
Okay, Doug. Lying in garbage. That's real mature. Oh, I like the tuna can hat. That's a good look. <laughs> All right, get up, Doug. Doug? Doug? Garcia, how is he? He's gonna be fine. Luckily, his appendix hadn't burst yet, and we got it out just in time. Oh. Thank God. Listen, he wanted me to bring it home for him in a jar. If that's a problem, you can just put a radish in there. He won't know the difference. Anyway, I'm just going to need him back here next week to take the stitches out. OK. Um, can I see him? Sure. He's probably still sleeping the anesthesia off. If you need anything, just buzz Candace. OK. Thank you. Doug? Sweetie? Doctor said you're gonna be fine, honey. Mm. Mm. I feel awful about this. I, I know I should have believed you when you said you were in pain. It's just that you lied to me so much. <laughs> mm. Will you ever forgive me? Yeah, Candace. Can, Candace, the nurse. Honey, you want me to get the nurse for you? So hot, Candace. <laughs> Doug, it's Carrie. Laura. <laughs> oh, that's good, I guess. Tickles. <laughs> oh, come on, Jenna. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's it, Care. Come on, Care. We're lying. Okay. Take care. Okay. Bye-bye. Right. Wow. It's like we just went from a Rolls Royce to a Ford Fiesta. <laughs> from now on, I will be renting my shoes over the phone. <laughs> <laughs> that snack bar waitress with a glass eye just moved up the charts. So. <laughs> yeah, so did the alley boy. <laughs> you, know, you idiots, man. Just give her a break. <laughs> Not until she gives me a break and starts wearing a paper bag. <laughs> Hey, where are you going? I'm going over there to talk to her, man. I mean, think how she feels. Usually there are guys lined up like three deep to hit on Tanya. But now look. Nothing, right? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go over there and make her day. Oh, hi. Can I help you? So, you must be this Denise I keep hearing about. Yeah. Well, Denise, I'm Doug, and on behalf of the entire Bolarama family of bowlers, welcome. Um, thanks. Wow, your eyes are killer. They're like the exact same color as my ball. <laughs> hey, shoe question for you. Why do they make the half sizes with the line under the number, you know? Why not use just the old, like, half symbol? You know, what's the deal with that? Um, I... I really don't know. It's crazy, though, isn't it? Do you want to rent shoes or not? <laughs> no, I, I have my own. Um, okay, well, uh, I'll see you. Wow, she lit up like a Christmas tree. <laughs> All right, boys, it's time to get serious here. Yes! Our last practice before the big dance. Let's Tomorrow, guess. the world learns with the men of IPS and me. <laughs> Let's do it. Ah, crap. Anybody got an extra lace? Uh, uh no, I don't have one, but, um, why don't you go get one from your girlfriend? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Make her night. <laughs> Make her night? That's so great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Come on, man. Yo, she did dust you off pretty good. Uh, you know, look, she's new around here, okay? Maybe she's just nervous in front of the customers. Sure. That's it. <laughs> Hi. Can I help you? Yeah, I need a pack of laces. How much? Um, I'm not sure. Let me ask my boyfriend. <laughs> Trevor! Yeah. Um, sorry to bother you, sweetie, but, um, this guy says he broke a lace. Broke a shoelace. Yeah, they 
break. They're not made of steel. It's a buck. Thank you. Babe, you look hot tonight. Come on, stop. We're at work. Anything else? No, that's all. Thanks. Unbelievable. What happened? She must have thought I was hitting on her last night because she made a big show of trotting out her boyfriend in front of me. Who's her boyfriend? Guy right there. That guy? That's her brother. <laughs> her brother? She had to get a brother to pretend to be her boyfriend? I'm that much of a sleazeball? <laughs> I guess so. I was doing her a favor. It was a mercy flirt. It is. No, you don't. Carrie, all I've had all day is pickled carrot, a box of Tic Tacs, two raw eggs, and some planned food. Just take deep breaths. You'll be fine. out of my hands. <laughs> e. something to settle it. Yeah, maybe like, uh, like a couple pieces of toast. Okay. And maybe some cheese and salami in between them. Nice to see you. Hi. Oh, hey, Doug. Hey. Doug, you remember meeting Mike, right? Of course I remember Mike. How's it going, Mike? It's going good. I was just on my way out and wanted to say hello. Oh, okay. All right, man. Have a Take good night. care, Mike. Bye bye. <sighs> okay, I think I schmoozed everyone I need to schmooze. I'm just gonna go to the ladies' room and then we can go home. All right, I'll wait right here. Yes, but make eye contact with no one. <laughs> Put him back, Dad. <laughs> Doug! Doug! Hey! Stay right there. <laughs> hey! 
lady in the purple suit there. I know I met her before. Who is she? I'm sorry, I don't know her. Her name, her job, anything. No. My wife's gonna kill me. Come on, man. <laughs> oh, crap, 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 crap. Hey, Doc. Hey! I was hoping to see you here. I was hoping to see you here. What are you doing here? <laughs> I work here. I know, I'm just saying, like, what are you doing here? Like, what's up? What's shaking? <clears throat> we miss you, is what I'm saying. We really miss you. Oh, that's so sweet. We have got to get together. Wow, great. I, I'd love to. <clears throat> OK, just walk away now. Just say goodnight and leave. How about Sunday? <laughs> How about brunch? Brunch on the beach. On the beach? What beach? <laughs> Shut up! Stop talking! I would love that. I, I guess I'll set it up with Carrie. You guess? You make it happen! <laughs> Okay, I will. All right. Well, you take care now, then. <clears throat> Douglas, aren't you going to introduce me? No! <laughs> aren't you going to introduce me? Oh! Oh, God, how rude of me. I'm sorry. This is Arthur, my father-in-law. Arthur, <laughs> this is... Well, this is just one of the coolest people here at the firm. <laughs> She's a great gal. Think of something. Think! Oh, God! Oh, my God! He's having a heart attack! Mr. Happening, can you describe the pain? Oh, yeah, it was a uh, pain just shooting down my right arm. No, a heart attack would be pain shooting down the left arm. I, I meant my left. I said right for you. I switched it around for you. <laughs> just hang in there, all right? We'll be in the emergency room in a minute. <sighs> I love you. I love you. Please be okay. Don't worry. I'm faking it. What? I'm faking it. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Did I, did I commit a bad time? Not at all. All right, then if you could just uh, give me your quick John hand. <clears throat> I'll, uh, be on my way. Oh, great. These must be Sally's feet. <laughs> Don't call the police. I'm a doll doctor. I take broken dolls and make them whole again. Oh, that's, uh, that's pretty creepy. Okay, uh, if you just sign here. Sure. <gasps> Mr. Belvedere? Say hello to our new IPS guy. Hey, why don't you show him your dance? He loves to dance. <laughs> Come on. Woo! Shake it. Shake that body. The little body. Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Almost lost it. <laughs> I get a lot of packages. You and I are going to be tied at the hip. Almost <laughs> lost her again. All right, then. Take care now. Hey, your pants. I keep it. <laughs> What's up with you? Towel guy again. Five days in a row, the guy answered the door. Nothing but a towel. It's not like he's even coming out of the shower. He's not even wet. And you'd rather see him wet? I don't know, OK? All I'm saying is one day he's going to get sloppy with that towel tucked. That towel's going to hit the floor, and I'm in an Italian deli. Yeah, I'm actually with Doug on this one. When I was five, <clears throat> I saw my grandmother naked once. To this day, it still haunts me. Was you walking on her in the bathroom? Nah, me and my brother are hidden in her closet. <laughs> I'm giving my baking. <laughs> I gotta wash up. I got some fudge on my hands. Come on in. Shelf I need to get. Will you hold the ladder for me? Oh, 
okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> Hey, while you're down there, will you grab my package? What? <laughs> the package you just brought me. I want to put it away while I'm up here. 